Hello and welcome back or welcome here if this is your first time on my channel. I'm excited I received these two boxes from Vivor. So let's open them up and see what we're working with. It came with these great tongs for taking things out of the kiln and these nifty red leather gloves, the manual, and it was packaged really well. Clean it off a little. I love the stainless steel box and the nice latch and handle. When I opened it up, I was amazed with the beautiful kiln brick. The inside is six inches by six inches. It's super compact and great. So the wheel came with a lot of extra things. It came with a great little toolkit. This is a pretty standard toolkit. It's great it comes with that because you need it. It came with a little book. It even tells you how to throw a little bit and how to use the tools. Here's the splash guard. The splash guard locks in. Feels pretty solid. It's about 11 inches. It came with a little apron. What is this called? It came with an Allen wrench and I believe it's so that you can adjust the legs. I'm actually gonna leave this on my table because I've been standing and throwing a lot lately. And so this is gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna adjust the legs. Here's the pedal. It's made out of plastic. I'm gonna do a little demonstration on this wheel and see how fast it can go and what we can make with it. So this wheel has two switches. It's got an on and off switch and a forward and reverse switch. I mean, you can definitely center the, on the wheel. I thought it felt smooth. Transitioning from fast to slow was great. The pedal works really well. It's a little bit slower than a professional wheel. I threw three different things. Overall, this is a great beginner wheel. Comes with all the tools you need. You can definitely throw pots on here. We'll dry them out and fire them here in a little bit. All right, so I moved the Viver electric melting furnace to an outdoor space to ensure that there's proper ventilation. I'm gonna be using it as a kiln to bisque my pottery. I went ahead and put a piece of broken kiln shelf in there to protect the brick. I have a bunch of these tiny little mugs that I made and I thought there'd be great little tests to see how this kiln does with little pieces. So yeah, I'm gonna load this up and start a bisque firing. So it's reached temperature. It's been about 50 minutes, a little bit more or less. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We'll see how long it takes to cool. I'm amazed how well this bisque fired. Everything turned out really well. I went ahead and glazed my little pieces with iron oxide, wiped off the oxide. I'm interested to see how iron oxide works when it's fired at a fast rate. Once I have all my iron oxide, I go ahead and glaze everything. I'm using pre-made glazes for this and I chose glazes that I thought would be able to withstand a rapid firing and didn't need a slow firing because this kiln will heat up really fast. All right, so the kiln has fired. It fired to cone six. I held it for 10 minutes. I'm amazed it only took a little bit more than an hour to reach temperature. My other kiln takes at least 12 hours to reach temperature. So I'm gonna open it and see the results and see how they turned out. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> I am super impressed. Wow, that's pretty cool. So overall, with what I experimented with, I think doing small pieces is totally reasonable. All the little pieces turned out really great. I'm happy with how those turned out. And with this bigger cup, and it could be the clay body, I really have to experiment with what types of clay would work with such a rapid firing. 
This I don't think will work as a cup anymore because there was some air bubbles that happened probably from just gases expanding. There's a lot of chemical reactions going on with very little time for the escape. Also, I did bring this to the fullest temperature. You could probably fire this at lower temperatures and it would work amazing. I think overall, this kiln is a great addition to a studio. I could do a lot of different experimenting with it. With any tool, it takes time to learn. You have to test materials, especially with pottery. Even with my large kiln, I do a lot of different tests with different clays and glazes to see what, what work with the type of firing that I'm using. I definitely got some pieces here that I'm pretty excited about and are ready to sell and put on a shelf, especially with these little pieces, I'll be able to make them more efficiently and in a tiny kiln, which is pretty exciting. This tool is gonna to be really fun to experiment with. It's a great addition in my studio. I would recommend this for a lot of different applications. There's a link below in the description. This video was sponsored by Viver. They sent me these to review. And yeah, I think that they're great. Like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Thank you.